Alrighty, so I'm here to do a breakdown on Mercs, but it's the variant with Korath and Ultimus, and I'm going to show you why this is a terrible defense team and why you shouldn't use this. <laughs> uh, this is a Brotherhood 2.0 team, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with. Uh, I prefer the configuration here with Blob in the middle, Juggernaut on the side, Magneto between them, and then Toad and Pyro off to the side. Uh, Toad has a chance to dodge here and there, so he can generally skip a hit or two uh, that splash damage from uh, Blob, but Pyro, of course, is the squishiest, and you want to keep him away from the fight as much as possible. As you can see here, these are my, te my team and stars. Nothing insane. Uh, Magneto is the biggest at tier 13, and uh, of course, um, the enemy team is 80k higher, and pretty much most of his tunes are much higher than mine. Uh, you can see here he's almost got 100k Ultimus and 95k Korath, so those are going to hurt a little bit. Uh, Task is only 85k, but that's still pretty strong. So, been wanting to try a good punch up on Mercs with this team, and especially against this variant, because I see it a lot, and I just I haven't really seen a very strong one. So I was trying to see how high I could punch up with this team, and you can see here 80k is uh, actually not too bad so I'm gonna walk you through the fight and how we do this and what's the best course of action so right off the bat you can see here uh, I would recommend splitting up Task and Korath quite a bit uh, putting them on the ends if you can if you're gonna use them and the reason why is because they both start with buffs and they're the only ones that start with buffs unless of course you have to flex up from boosting um, but basically putting them side by side means that I can go ahead and use the Toad alt on the corner here and ensure that I strip both those buffs uh, before they get a turn with Toad. So that's very helpful for me. Not very good for them, but I would just recommend if you're going to use this configuration, you could, should split them up. Now, the other thing I'm thinking of here is, uh, well, since they don't have Bullseye, uh, really none of these characters can hit through blind except for Taskmaster's ult. So what I think here is because this variant, I'm actually going to start with the blind. Whereas on the other variant of Mercs with the Bullseye and other guys like Killmonger, I would generally start with the uh, Disrupt on Taskmaster and focus him down. You could do that here potentially, but I'm going to show you why that's a bad idea. So initially there, you can see Korath took his turn. Even without the speed up, he still had a lot of speed bar. So he went, but he missed because he was blind. Um, so that's really important. Now we get the Merc LT ult with the offense up, speed up for everybody. And you can see here, Task actually does hit because he goes through blind with his ult. And he did blind Toad, which, eh, you know, not a big deal, but could be worse. Um, losing, or getting... Uh, pyro blind is the worst but now you can see here ultimus is blind and he is missing every single punch on my blob and that is so important because otherwise he would be busting this tank ultimus is known as the tank buster right so getting the blind off initially completely negates his ult which is generally the reason he's on the team in the first place is that he's going to hit an early taunter with some buffs and do massive amounts of damage and as you can see here the blind completely negates that so that makes this a lot easier um, and now pyro is not blind sometimes he gets blinded by the task alt uh, but he isn't here so he's going to strip all these buffs with his special because they're all bunched up and make them easy targets so um, so that's pretty huge too now we're going to use the blob alt hit everybody in the middle there um, get the toad assist uh, just because you know why not <laughs> and then toad here is blind so we're just going to use his basic to waste the blind and then juggernaut is going to taunt now is the time to use the magneto special and of course i want to take out task he is the most important kill on this team as long as you get rid of him you can generally whittle down the rest or at least get them to where there's only like one or two of them left and they're very easy cleanup without killing task uh, it all gets very dicey so here we go, we got another Merc LT uh, buff here to share with everybody. And you can see here they hit my Juggernaut, but he can't copy the buffs because he's got the Disrupt. And that's so important when it comes to Task. You gotta keep him disrupted as much as you can. Otherwise he just keeps stealing all these speed ups and defense ups and whatever. And it gets really, really uh, difficult sometimes if you let him run wild. So now we've got the Pyro all, we're gonna throw Disrupts out on who we can. However, there are some uh, deflects here so that some of them do block it out which happens but uh, you know it's a little bit of RNG but not a big deal um, really we just want to kill task and you can see there I did not get the disrupt to land on riot guard 
so he was able to taunt and so now we got to deal with that sort of uh, but there are a lot of aoe's here so it doesn't really matter now they're all bunched up and they've got a bunch of debuffs that around uh, this juggernaut alt and i just let it fly and even though they've all got the flex he still does a ton of damage right he's got two charges and he's just gonna hit them and now we've just got easy cleanup here so it's really just a matter of whittling these two down which isn't hard because my entire team is still alive right i'm probably gonna lose blob here just because he's pretty low health and he doesn't really have a way of regening but that's okay right as long as you win and so i'm just showing here uh why this team doesn't work at least for brotherhood 2.0 uh, they completely dismantle it as long as you start with the blind and it lands so you need a strong magneto to make sure that you get through it um, brotherhood 2 does have huge amounts of focus in war though because there's two passives that uh, provide more focus and so it's pretty significant and it's really difficult for them not to land their debuffs um, so you also have to think you know Ultimus and Korath, maybe they could be better served somewhere else. But really, the biggest problem with this team, more than anything else, is that you got a tech and a mystic character taking up two slots that could be skill. And that's really the problem with it, because Task would do another 20% damage if I had somebody like Killmonger and Bullseye on that team. Skill characters provide him an extra 10% each for his base damage and that's his passive um, basically it's just incorrectly written uh, which of course we've seen plenty of times through uh, <laughs> through this game but it says on his passive that en uh, that enemies with skill are what feed him extra damage but it's actually allies that feed him extra damage and so i don't think it's worth it at all to replace uh two skill characters with two non-skill characters on this team because task is the engine that drives it and as long as you can keep him alive and keep him killing stuff he will run people into the ground if they underestimate him and he is the one that really keeps it going so i highly recommend that uh, you go with killmonger and maybe bullseye if you got him built or he's got good red stars you know he's definitely worth it mine isn't so we've talked about this on stream plenty of time so i don't use bullseye because i never built him and i have terrible reds on i think i have two reds on him so i didn't really want to do that but use as many skill characters as you can of course lt and riot guard staples the merc team you gotta have them with tasks those are two skill characters right there and then uh or i'm sorry that's one skill character from riot guard and merc lt is uh tech so anyway but you want the skill characters there because they bu buff his damage and so if you got good skill characters you can try them out i know people have tried widow uh <laughs> she's a skill character that doesn't really have a home right now just there's plenty of things out there that you could try uh but just just put them out there and let task do the work um and, and it, it'll work out but uh, really well for you but in any case, this team just completely falls apart with Brotherhood because of the blind. Uh, it completely negates Ultimus. You can see there, he was tier 14 Ultimus. He still got blinded by my Magneto. Um, maybe if he had deflect up with a boost, he might not have, but I'd, I'd still gladly take Magneto over that anytime just because of the focus and everything. He's going to likely land it. But in any case, I probably could have taken the damage anyway and been all right because this team... It's just it's it's great at dealing with this 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 configuration of mercs so definitely don't run this on war if you can <laughs> find something else because uh, this one's pretty easy but there's an 80k punch up and uh that's it for this breakdown so thanks for watching and i'll see you later